Chatbots, among all, have become a real-life changer in business. Clients are able to enjoy 24-7 access to services, and they don't have to spend ages trying to solve simple problems. Chatbots can resolve up to 80% of issues without human interference, all on your website, WhatsApp, Instagram, or Facebook Messenger. Yet, not every chatbot is effective and loved by audiences. How do you make a chatbot that converts and actually helps users? We see seven basic rules to make your chatbot stand out and provide your clients with a meaningful experience. Let's get going! Rule number one. First, analyze users' requests. You can't fit all the questions and answers in the world into one script. Analyze the most frequently asked questions. Read through the conversations to understand what bothers your customers. Building on that, you can shape the basic content for your chatbot, which your customers will find useful. Second, create a human-like conversation. Creating a robot that communicates like a human is hard, but possible and really necessary. Think of a bot that will represent your brand and will sound just like your customer support. For example, avoid passive voice, jargon and complicated words. Go for a personal and friendly narrative instead. Instead of using we found products based on your preferences, use I found products that I think you will like. Give your bot some personality. Decide which tone of voice your company uses and use it in your chatbot. Here comes the rule number three. Think the structure through. Companies obsess over stuffing as much info as possible into their chatbot. Yet, some users might get lost in this informational flow. They want to go back to the start, but how? Let the customer circle back to the previous options in case they change their mind or understand that the bot didn't get the initial question. Apart from these buttons, you might want to think of some request buttons to onboard the new users. We recommend adding questions that I often asked. For example, what is on your menu? Find products. Schedule now. It will also allow users to avoid typing, which they will greatly appreciate. Rule 4. Keep your answers short and clear. If a question requires a one-sentence response, don't turn it into a paragraph. If a question requires an article-worthy answer, provide the most essential information and link to the article that explains things better. Rule 5. Fit your chatbot to the sales funnel. Remember to keep your chatbot as flexible as possible. You too wouldn't want to get the buy now message right after you have subscribed to the bot. In the awareness stage, make your chatbot appear a minute after the user browsing. Offer recommendations based on where a customer came from and what they were looking at. In the interest stage, offer questions and answers about products, order process, delivery, prices. In the decision stage, a customer needs just a little extra push to complete their purchase. Send personalized recommendations and coupons or connect the customer with a sales representative. In the action stage, chatbots can upsell or cross-sell based on previous conversations and user behavior. Remember to send a cart abandonment message to try to capture users' attention and close the deal. And final rule 6. Update. It's not enough to create a script and forget about it. Remember to constantly update information, add new question responses, attach new information about sales or coupons. Before launching your bot, don't forget to test it internally within your company. Let them be serious and mess with the bot. Then collect feedback. That's how we see it. Do you have anything to add? Let us know in the comments. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. See you in the next video.